Today on Engineering Newswire, we're battling Gorilla Arm, putting an end to public urination, and building an all new internal combustion engine for the first time in 60 years. <laughs> A handful of computer scientists in Germany have created a procedure that simulates which muscles and joints are put under particular strain when using IT devices. Neck strain, painful fingers, and tense shoulders are some of the side effects from using new devices. So for example, touchscreens often require users to hold their arms in extended positions for lengthy periods of time, causing a type of muscle fatigue referred to by some experts as gorilla arm. That doesn't sound good. So researchers have developed a tool that combines three-dimensional motion capture with biomechanical simulation. Essentially, a test subject wears a special suit that has these small optical markers. He or she then performs a sequence of movements which are recorded by special cameras. The team uses software to map these movements into a model of a human body, and the model lets them see which parts of the body is subjected to the greatest strain when using a particular device. The studies have also shown researchers how efficiently a user operates a particular piece of IT equipment, which can provide designers with valuable information on how to improve user interaction with their products. Because, well, no one wants Gorilla Arm. The tiny three-wheeled LEO has a projected top speed of more than 100 miles per hour and a goal of up to 84 miles per gallon. It may also look familiar because it has already made an appearance in Engineering Newswire. Now, the company has unveiled its 0.9-liter three-cylinder engine prototype. And with the goal of reinventing the auto industry, it makes sense that they would reinvent their engine. So Elio has developed several custom engine components, including the cylinder block, cylinder head, cam cover, front cover, oil pan, crankshaft, camshaft, valve train, pistons, connecting rods, bearings, and water pump, making Elio the first startup to build an all-new internal combustion engine in 60 years. The new engine will help the vehicle operate efficiently at low loads for highway cruising and higher loads for city driving and fast starts. And I'll be like, like fast starts because you're gonna like drag race in your LEO. But I couldn't think of anything funny to say. After the parts were machined and assembled, the prototype engine was started and run through various tests on a dyno. The team is extremely pleased with this first run, stating that it is one of the most exciting stages in their history, putting them right where they need to be at this stage of development. The vehicle will eventually be manufactured in the same facility where GM built the Hummer H3 and Chevy Colorado, although this vehicle will be much smaller. Much smaller. More than 40,000 people have already secured their place in line to purchase the vehicle after it has hit production, which is expected in the first half of 2016. The company predicts it will create 1,500 jobs at the facility, another 1,500 at supplier partner companies, and 18,000 indirect jobs across the country. And it will only cost $6,800. It's a win, 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 win. It's no secret that almost every major city with a bustling night scene has major issues with public urination. Hamburg St. Pauli, one of the world's most famous red light districts, and apparently a smelly one due to the stains and smell of wee, is turning to chemistry to prevent mixtuators from relieving themselves in public. The walls in the district are being sprayed with ultra ever dry, super hydrophobic, oleophobic nano coating, a product developed by Florida based containment provider Ultratech. The coating repels almost any liquid on a wide range of materials, including, but not limited to, hammers to boots and gloves, and now, St. Pauli's walls. The two-part Ultra Ever Dry system creates a near-invisible barrier of air over surfaces on the nanoscale, so if you pee on the wall, this is what happens. Julia Starn of Inter Essen Gemeinschaft St. Pauli, an interest group for companies and businesses based in St. Pauli, has a warning for all of you street pissers visiting the area. Beware, because not all treated walls have warning signs posted. 
It's pee back time. I mean, peeing in public really pissed them off. Do you have your ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Fossbender and this has been your Engineering Newswire.